Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm just going to give you a quick a little review of uh, a new game I've got for my Xbox um, Series X. It's the reason why I brought the machine. And we're talking about Microsoft's Flight Simulator. Um, as you well know, I'm a huge fan of simulated games, as you've probably seen on my channel. We've had from train to bus to truck to to uh, power washing, to lawn mowing, you know, all sorts of wonderful, wonderful simulators. Um, but the flight one is the one I've always wanted because I love aircrafts. I really, really do. If I had one dream in my life, it would be just to go up once and try and fly like a, a biplane or something, you know. Uh, it's something I would always love to do um, just because of that sense of, I don't know, it's just something about it, I've always wanted to do it, and I've never, never been able to, and I never will, but this is the closest I can get, and it is fantastic, it is an absolutely amazing game, it's huge, um, so if you do get an Xbox Series X or S, be prepared for a lot of your space to be taken up, because the game is massive. I mean, the game itself is about 150 gigabytes, and then you've got updates that are loads of gigabytes, and then you've got the, the marketplace with different aircraft um, that are, can be costly. It is quite an expensive sort of um, game in a sense, but it, it can turn into a hobby, and a lot of people turn Flight Simulator into a hobby. Um, just because it's so vast and amazing and the actual game is is photogenic it's very true to life it looks real um, and it looks absolutely amazing and you can fly anywhere um, uh, we, we can fly I can fly over your house pretty much I mean I can go to where I live and fly over my little town I can go over Stevenage and fly over the town where my lad lives and you know what I mean it's so iconic and, and brilliant um, and these I've, I've done a little some little clips here for you as you see I'm flying it's a short flight I'm doing a very short flight from Heathrow to Gatwick and I've only done it just because I want to show you the sort of like the, the sort of the photo perfect sort of way it looks and the way it sort of plays it plays really really well it's it, it's very it is an easy game it's not an easy game it's not like you you pick it up and you press r2 and up you go no it, 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 you have to know you have to learn so many things <clears throat> and the most difficult thing i found in the whole game is landing uh, uh, taking off not too bad but landing i, I struggle and i struggle with <clears throat> I'm getting better. I'm getting better. Unfortunately, I can't stream the game at the moment. We'll get onto that in a minute. Uh, we're going to stick with the positives at the moment. It looks really well. And there's an amazing array of aircraft, and the models of these aircrafts are absolutely spot on. Um, you've got from small sort of biplanes to vintage sort of uh, war planes and You've even got helicopters, gliders, um, right through to, um, you know, small private jets, through to Airbus, sort of, um, Boeing 747s. So you've got such an array of aircraft. And like I say, it's got vintage sort of like warplanes, like the Spitfire and, and, and all this kind of thing in it, which is absolutely, it looks stunning and they're replicated amazing. As you can see by the clips, visually it's stunning. It is just like the you know like the real thing sort of thing. It is like a an aircraft being watched by a drone almost. It's just brilliant, um, and it is a game that you, takes time to be mastered. You got to master it. You you can't just turn it on, take off and fly it. It just doesn't work like that. You'll end up crashing and all sorts because there's so much you've got to learn about the plane and about its rudders and about taxiing on 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 the uh, on, on the runways and all this kind of thing. There's a lot to learn, and there is parts in like where you 
like if you've got a jet where you have to sort of get the jet filled up with petrol get the baggage put on the passengers put on and then you've got to taxi it to your platform and take off and then you've got the flight in real time it does have real time weather on it as well so you've got to handle all the sort of strong winds and turbulence and bad weather as well as like flying an aircraft um so it can be a little bit like that until you're sort of used to it and stable in it out um so it does have all the challenges of flying it is a simulator um these these sort of things will probably use by people that are learning to fly you know to, and i'm sure they probably are but it's absolutely wonderful and amazing um, sort of game to sort of play. Um, I absolutely have been having a wonderful time. I've crashed loads, mostly on landing. Um, I'm still trying to master turning because sometimes when you turn, your plane turns with it and, and suddenly you, you've got to tilt your plane up and, and around at the same time or you're going to end up taking a nose dive down so it's, it's not as easy as it looks it is quite uh complicated but that's one of the attractions of the game it'd be pretty boring if you could turn it on and off you go and you can fly around the world um and stuff like that but no you need to master it but it has loads of things on there it has like a sightseeing where you can go and see all the landmarks in the world if you're flying through london you've got tower bridge you've got the O2 Arena, you've got all these sort of things that you'll be able to see, you know. Um, the Cliffs of Dover in America, you know, New York, the Statue of Liberty, everything, you know. Uh, the Brazilian statues and all this, all the landmarks are in there. And it's absolutely amazing. Um, the negatives of the game, it is a game that needs you to put hours and hours and hours into it it's not a game you can just casually play it may seem oh this is going to be a nice sort of chill out game and when you've mastered it i'd say yeah it probably is but i'm far from that i've only had about three and a half hours in into the game and i'm struggling still but i'm absolutely having a wonderful time um i've just done a flat flight there i took off well and i landed well I shame I, I didn't take my landing because it was really cool. I actually landed well for the first time. Um, but it does have assists on there. Like you can change some of the assists to help you out. And it's also, don't forget, like all planes, it has an autopilot. So if you're struggling, you can always put it into autopilot for a little while until you fathom out and get your head clear what you're going to do. Um, so it, it's it's quite good and realistic. So if you've got an Xbox series, I will highly recommend um, uh, getting it and checking it out. It's an amazing game. I'm not going to score it um, because I can't, because I'm still new to it. Now, here's the thing. You know I love to put videos on my channel of games. Now, I've been able to do that with the PlayStation 5 because the PlayStation 5 connects with youtube like that so it connects straight away and you can record a video on your playstation 5 up to an hour which i can then upload straight onto my youtube now xbox series x you can capture a video for one minute that's it you can only catch it one minute and you can't upload it to youtube or anything um, you can only capture one minute. Um, so, and the only way to do a proper full video is to, you need like a computer, you need a capture card, you need different apps like OBS or a Twitch account, because on Twitch you can probably stream it. And if you've got some sort of um, capture card, you can probably stream it onto YouTube at the same time. Or you can sort of save the video from Twitch and then upload it. Or you can use a capture card which will bypass it onto YouTube. Or, or you can probably record it onto the capture card and sort of then upload it onto YouTube. So that's going to come at a little bit more cost for me. Yes, I now have my laptop and I've got the, the, the Xbox. So I should be able to do it. 
Um, it's just going to take me a while to fathom out the best way to do it. And I'll say I'll need a, quite a good sort of capture card to to also connect the two devices together so I can capture these videos for you. So all I'm going to say is coming. Uh, it's coming in 2024. I, I don't know when, but it will be coming to my channel. And I will be placing some videos up of um, the flight simulator. Until then, you just have to make do with this review. Anyway, please um, check it out. And if you can't wait to see any of my videos and watch me crash, then check out other people's videos on YouTube and see if it's a game for you. Personally, I think it's, it's incredible. Absolutely amazing. Cheers, guys.